All right, hello everyone. It's Pat and the Bear 707 here with episode nine on our Let's Play Minecraft Together series on my channel. And yeah, guys, we're here in the server. And on the last episode, we got kind of like it started right here on our chest room, and then I finished the furnace room at the bottom, um, which I've been using, guys. And I basically smelted all those 25 um, choker boxes. And if you guys notice, these are empty. I think there's like two three there's three i guess there's four no three and a half um chokers empty and the reason for that i think is because they're all in the hoppers um so i kind of want to take those back to the mall and that, that way we can start selling them because yeah they're not doing anything here um something else that i ended up smelting was some charcoal right here and the reason i'm doing this guys is i don't know if i told you guys on the last episode that if we combine charcoal and coal we're gonna end up getting um ink sacks so i want to try that out right now so yeah there we go guys so it takes four to make two so it takes two coal and two charcoal to make two of these ink sacks so it's I, I think it's fair, you know, it's a lot of charcoal that we're using here um, But I think it's fair to a certain point because ink sacks here in the server They're a little bit hard to guess since there's so many people everybody's like everywhere spread apart Especially now that we have um, in the aquatic update So just having so many people here just makes it a little bit harder to get the ink sacks uh, So doing it this way is just kind of like spreads the love a little bit and then everybody's able to use ink sacks So um, it's a good thing in my opinion it's a good thing um all right so i think i have yeah i do have a shulker right here where i want to place everything um all these right here so let's see how much we get uh which is not a lot it's not a lot to be honest uh but it is like some you know it's it's something that we could look forward I, I don't know if i'm gonna need a lot uh because something that i wanted to do that i didn't mention because i keep changing my mind for some reason as i play along i end up finding new things and want to use different uh resources for the rest of the town and i kind of want to use dark prismarine guys uh for the top of the houses because um i noticed that we could actually make slabs and stairs off that so i kind of want to try that and i just like the, the colors i really like how they stand out so i kind of want to use them in this room it's just like a really cool texture and just colors or i don't know i just really like it so i kind of want to use that as the um kind of like where the inside right here of the roof and just walls in general and then maybe later on just so we could keep the the theme going on top of the houses although if you guys notice over there i got stone bricks i'm gonna leave that one i might do some stone bricks and some other ones but for most of it i think i'm gonna do um dark prismarine which i'm gonna need a lot of this right here um there we go so i got a lot of charcoal left so i need to go get more coal and then do the rest so yeah guys this is a lot i don't think i'm gonna need um more than a chest one i think i have another one i think uh i think it was uh steel toad or somebody was selling chokers uh full of ink sacks before the update and i bought one for like 40 diamonds i think so yeah i have a lot of it so let me just place that right here um so yeah so let me get all these um together guys because like i said i think they're all i have one more um i think they're all in like um in the hoppers right here so i think all of these are full and yeah they are they should all be full all right there we go so let me just pick up the rest guys and i'll be right back all right so i got all these these are seem to be all full and perfect so like i said before the only thing that i smelted was sand so there should be nothing but sand in these i also smelted like i said the 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 coal or whatever that was um the charcoal but that was after so um, yeah, so if you guys see right here, we got a bunch of these right here and um, I just need to fill them. So hopefully it all adds up because um, if it doesn't, then we're going to have a problem. So I kind of noticed already there's 37 on here for some reason, which um, there shouldn't be no 37. Oh, maybe to add to that, but there's seven extra. So that's a problem right there. Um, all right guys, so let me just keep going and I'll go from here. All right, so I'm almost done here guys I just got one more row. So hopefully I'm gonna have enough um, And we're gonna find out in just a little bit So I got this bottom row and it's still not not adding up with the seven right here So hopefully we didn't lose any Because um, that's gonna be a problem. So there's seven already 
Uh, there's a problem already right there, guys. I, I'm not sure if I added more sand. Mm, I don't remember, to be honest. Any more sand, so I don't know where uh, that seven came from, but it seems to be all here. Um, I'm going to have to look through each of these when I place them all there. Um, but yeah, all right, so unless there's more. No, there's not. So there's seven extra glass for some reason. Um, okay, I guess. I don't know what to say about that, guys. All right, so where is it from here? Nope. All right, guys, so another thing that I need to go over there to the mall for is to go bring some of the bricks that we have um, to sell because, like I said, I kind of changed my mind on the bricks and then they added the whole um, new recipe for them to get more from what we have. So, yeah, I have way more than I need, so I'm going to have to go sell them as well. So uh, let me go to the mall really quick, guys, and then I'll just catch you guys uh, once I come back because, yeah, I need to think of a price. And I said I was gonna raise the prices for um, the glass shulkers right here. So we'll, we'll I need to figure out um, what I need to do. So I'll be right back, guys. So I'm here at the glass shop, which I stocked full of all the glass. So like I said, there's um, 25, uh, 8, 16, 24, and then 25. I might actually keep one of these just in case I do need it. Um, but I also took down these two chests right here on the side uh, where I had my stained glass um, That wasn't much of a seller. Um, I think people could always just buy these so it kind of will bring the attention back to these right here um, So they could buy a whole choker uh, worth and at the same time guys I decided to keep the ten diamonds for one uh, choker the reason for that uh, was because like as is it's already at 2.7 2.7 i think um stacks of glass for a diamond which it's it's i think it's fair like three stacks of glass for a diamond i think it's really fair um and i decided just to leave it at 10. um i was gonna race it just because of the actual shulker uh but i have a lot guys and then i could always go to the end and then go uh shulker uh hunting as well so um i decided just to leave the price at that so i i decided to add like i said before the bricks right here to the size so i got two stacks for one diamond i decided to do it like exactly how it says that way people can um like read it and not mess up on what the price is because uh, like i said i got kind of um duped or juked or whatever however you want to say it on my weather skeleton um heads that i was selling for four diamond blocks uh somebody bought them for four diamonds which is it's not cool you know what i mean so i don't want that happening again and then with the actual um glass right here you know for some reason they have trouble reading uh the price so hopefully with this it's a little bit more easier to understand so um i'm gonna i'm gonna place them right here on the sides and then i got a few more shulkers full of them there we go and then i'm also gonna place i'm gonna fill these two right here uh, with them and then I'm gonna put some at the bottom uh, with the sign saying that I have more up here so whoa that's a lot I thought it was like two two shulkers worth but I think that was because um oh I'm lagging a lot guys so let me just fill these quick and then fill some at the bottom um, and then I'll be right back somebody broke the the anvil guys I was gonna rename something somebody broke it and didn't replace it which is a little bit annoying because I've been replacing them for so long and this time I'm not even gone, gonna bother because uh, What's the point if nobody else is gonna do it? You know what I mean? And I, I use it every now and then but I could always just make my own so yeah I don't know guys. There's some guys on here that uh, For some reason don't respect that um, so I'm just gonna make my own and then just keep this my own. I'm just playing guys I'm gonna put it down uh, so other people can use it and we got who's this we got Trini We got Trini over here. This is the first time I've ever seen this dude um, over here All right, so I'm gonna rename one of my ender pros one diamond for two stacks Hopefully everybody gets this right um, and then I'm gonna put Maybe like a slash over here and then um, more at my um, market stall or whatever you guys call it shop. I guess we'll call it shop because stall, I don't know if that's the right word for that. Um, so yeah, so more supplies at my market shop. There we go guys and hopefully people know that 
Um, yeah, it's me, Panda Bear 707 down here. All right, so just put the stack over here, and there we go, guys. So one diamond for two stacks, more supplies, and a market shop. Um, and I guess, like I said, I'll just leave this anvil. Hopefully, um, somebody replaces it if they ever break it. Bam, there we go. All right, guys, so I'm on my way back home. So um, since I was at the mall and at the marketplace, I decided to check to see if anybody was selling some tridents uh, because when they they added all the stuff, like for example, uh, what, what, we, what we did earlier with the ink sacks, um, they increased the rates for trident drops. Um, so I just checked to see if anybody was selling some and there's a person selling two uh, But they want 64 diamond blocks each which is in my opinion is way too much guys There's no way I'm gonna pay that much um, for a trident So I uh, asked in the chat to see if anybody was like or basically if anybody know what knew what um, the common price was now since they uh, increased the rates and then somebody said that um, they had one and they traded for me for uh, five stacks of kelp blocks. I don't know if he was just playing with me. His name is Ando Hex. I've never seen him before. I think he's new, either new or he's one of the older players that just started playing again. Um, he's saying that he'll trade it for five stacks of uh, kelp blocks, and I'm like, you know what? If you could give me a, a trident, I'll give you a shulker full of kelp blocks. Um, and he agreed to but I don't know if he's just messing with me or if he's serious So I don't think he has one right now. Um, but yes guys, so I took everything actually let me put the shulkers down here um, In my storage area Actually, what you know what I need to take them over there because I need to uh, Start using my my original one over there. Um, is there anything that I need here? Actually, let me replace one of these because uh, I took it and there we go. So yeah guys, so now to see what we could do. Oh, let me check on the my um, Dark Prismarine because I saw that somebody was actually selling some for um, three diamonds a stack So it's guardian drops right here There we go. And I think yeah Dark Prismarine uh, Prismarine Dark Prismarine Dark Prismarine and then this is just regular prismarine um, and what sucks about this is that I crafted so much uh, shards just so I could save some room on this and I made it into regular prismarine um, which kind of sucks guys because you actually need the shards to make the dark prismarine um, but oh well you know um, alright so I have a little bit guys let me go up there and think of a design and get ready and before I forget, I need to check up here because I loaded the furnaces with some more blocks. And I think it should all be loaded. And I don't want this minecart um, going back and forth for no reason. Yep, it has... Yeah, it has enough. Now, um, let me just check here in the back. There's a stack... Oh, there's like a about three stacks in each one so i think that's gonna be enough for a little bit um and let me see how much i have over here because i came back and i had to craft um all that just to put it in the furnace back in the furnace so i don't think all right yeah i don't think i was gonna say um, i don't think i have that much but this is more than i expected um all right guys so it's it seems to be working fine like i thought i was gonna need to add uh, more of these but it seems to be working perfect um because it's applying um kelp blocks back for the actual uh, system right here and then for my furnace over there so um yeah i think it's two of these is like something perfect um unless you you want it like quicker right um all right guys so let me come up here and see what we can do with the storage room so before we get started i just want to see if it actually works i got these two but then i noticed that yeah this is not a full um shulker which kind of sucks but right there at the top i see that there's slabs and stairs um so this is gonna be really cool guys uh yeah so i'm just gonna make a stack into whoa and it makes so many what let me get another one and make these into slabs it gives me six wow that's a lot so i think we're gonna have enough guys i might just go and buy those three over there but i still need to see how many shards i have i know i have some shulkers of shards um all right so yeah guys look at this look at this texture look at the color like if it go it just goes with the gray you know what i mean like it, it fits perfect um so i have some stone bricks right here just to show you guys it looks a little bit more like like i don't know it's just 
it seems like a little bit more classy like it's a little bit more rich in color and it's just i don't know i really like this texture this color um i know a lot of people are probably gonna hate it because of the how dark it is uh but i think it's like a really really nice uh, color to go with stone um all right guys so to get started i think um, I don't know if I should add stone bricks right here or if I should add andersite um, And I think I'm gonna go with stone bricks because uh, I think stone bricks are gonna be a little bit more fancy than than uh, your andersite your smooth andersite uh, I don't know because I kind of want to get like a thing going on so these are a castle guys So these guys are wealthy. I want like better stuff than the rest of the houses that I'm gonna build But what sucks is that I'm gonna be using uh, stone bricks for those uh, But yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll just use um, stone. I was gonna say polished andesite not stone bricks um, So I think I'm just gonna use stone bricks here. So let me just get started right here and this is where like i said before this is where um actually i uh, know nah, i could just do this um let me just finish the top right here this is where i'm gonna place the furnaces um so it's a block going in so i think yeah it's going like this and then it's just gonna be in this block so i need to fill this one right here there we go and now down here and this we're gonna be the furnaces um and then these are gonna be stone bricks as well so yeah it's gonna be really cool so let me just uh fill the rest of this with stone bricks guys like the the frame and then we'll go a little bit more into detail into the corners and the lights so i got most of it done guys i got like the basic structure and i was gonna use stone bricks for the roof right here for the top uh, but I decided to use stairs and then the dark prismarine, which I think was a great idea because it's kind of gonna like fuse into it. And then I think I'm gonna do like another stone going. No, it's not gonna work. Never mind, it's not gonna work. It's, it doesn't really match up, so it's not gonna work out. So never mind about that, guys. But um, I got this done right here on the on the shulker side, and I kind of wanted just to. Uh, fill it out a little bit just because yeah, I got the shulkers right here and I kind of want to uh, fix them up that way I know what's what and then just to clean up this area because it's really really messy So I think I'm just gonna clean these really quick. So yeah, um, but overall I like how it's looking guys like um, I really like the the dark prismarine uh, it Looks it looks beautiful. So um, back here guys, so this area is gonna be exposed. I don't know what I want to do in here I just put some sea lanterns just for um, to light up the area that way. It's not too dark um, I did it for like all the the tops and the back. So for the back I used some some Polished and their side and I just covered the back areas the only place that uh, you guys are gonna be able to see cobblestone is right here for the windows of the actual building but it doesn't look that bad and then you can see a little bit of ice but like I said this is gonna be filled with shulkers um, boxes so you're really not gonna be able to see that so um, yeah so I think I'm just gonna place all these in here guys that way it's a little bit cleaner and as as we work it's just it will we'll get a better overall feeling of it but for the top before I even do that I kind of want to see how where did I put everything all right here um, I kind of want to see how I'm gonna tie this so I think right here in the corners I'm going to add this just to tie this together because uh, I is looking really weird right now without that um, with that uh, change and I can't add a stair just because it's gonna face one way so I think I don't know if I should use nothing but slabs going up which is probably that's what's gonna work because yeah that's three right here so it's gonna be three four five six seven yeah so i think i'm just gonna add slabs so let me do that really quick in uh one of these sections i guess i'll start in this one and do i have any i'm not gonna have any uh scaffolding blocks which i need there there we go um ooh. all right so if it's gonna be like this then i'm gonna need some here like that and then let me just get up here and then just keep going like this um and i think that's the best thing the the best way it's gonna work out and i guess i could just use i was gonna say i could just use that but it's not gonna work right here i need to actually place a block right here and something that i could do is maybe add a lantern right here just so i could add a little bit more i don't have one on me um a little bit more lights because i don't think that light going down is gonna be enough 
um, or it might be, but I could always take down the the lantern. I could always change it. So I kind of want to leave this space um, to add it. Actually, I'll just fill it up, and then if I want to add it, I'll add it. Um, all right. So now I think I'm gonna add some stairs here. So I'm gonna leave that gap. Uh, so I guess I need this again, and then I can just finish the rest. So I think it's not gonna work out, huh? Hmm. Yeah, it's not gonna work out because it's not gonna match up. Um, I probably need stairs first Stairs and then and then slabs once it gets to the top like this And now it's even but it just doesn't work out right here guys because the stairs um, Yeah, it doesn't work out because the top is right there So this starts right there and then this one starts over here Hmm, yeah, it doesn't add up well guys because there's um, Three blocks right here and then three and then over here. There's three and like I don't know how many over here. So Hmm I don't know what to do guys. Um, I mean it doesn't look too off like this And then maybe I could add something here just so I could take the attention off this corner um but I think I'm just gonna keep it this way. I think it's gonna be like this and then I'll figure something out to make uh, This work right here because yeah, it looks a little bit weird having it like that uh, So let me just do the rest um, of the corners guys and I'll be right back Magma garden watch out while magma blocks in the fields I don't see any right now. So while I was playing guys I noticed that somebody in the chat they were talking about a public a drown farm um, and then I just I was just paying attention to what they were saying and they mentioned that there was one around in this area which I already found um, I came looking for it and I found the guys I guess somebody just found a zombie spawner and decided to just make it into a drown farm but it's a really cool design one that I haven't seen before um, and I have Kate a little bit and this is the elytra fighting arena if you guys are familiar or in the server or just watch Suma in, in, in general and you guys saw the videos when he used to play on here um, yeah there's a fighting uh, arena Elytra arena over there um, yeah so I'm, I'm fairly familiar with this area uh, when I started in the server I kind of wander around just checking places out getting some inspiration through all the builds everybody's a uh, different style so I kind of wander in this area and I was a little bit familiar so I remember the name that they mentioned and then when I came looking over here I found this so public drown farm and they have a drown farm in there so yeah there we go let's check it out guys it's pretty cool it's a design like I said before that I've never seen uh, which is kind of interesting and they made it to uh, where it's more than one person can be here at a time um, and it's just wait is that blue I've never seen that before um, so yeah so the instructions let me show you guys here is there anybody in here no there's not or maybe there is how come there's that lever down um, all right so let's read the rules guys so public ground farm king of sky lords tyro uh, to turn on the farm, hit the button at the back. If the lamps are on, the farm is on. Please stay inside the farm. If a problem or cures, or cures, contact us on Discord. Stand in the chamber and kill the drowns. Um, try turning it off and on if there's a problem. All right, so it's it's fairly simple. When I started here, I didn't even notice this guy, this area right here. Like for some reason, my attention went over here. Um, and I guess to, in my defense, this was off, so this didn't like everything was dark right here, and this is the only thing that was lit up, um, which is what caught my attention. And yeah, so I didn't know how this worked. It took me a minute to figure out uh, the way it actually works. Um, so I think I need to turn this on that way it's off and not on same thing with that i guess there was people using it um yeah so it's really simple guys um yes you can see they have a collection of heads right here and then i guess trash so the way it works is you just turn it on by pressing that button the lamps are on so um the lights over here are off and then we got our zombie spawner here that um i guess like they fall down they go over here and then somehow they drown 
and then once they drown they get picked up by a minecart um that takes them up here and then over here i have no clue how it worked got a little bit of the the hiccups right there i'm sorry uh but yeah so they get brought up to the top and then um there's these little chambers right here where um you see and it has this pressure plate that somehow like activates something where they're able to fall in your chamber so i guess this works with multiple people which is uh pretty cool that they're able to spread them out like that personally i would have no clue on how to make something like this uh which shows you how talented some of the people playing on here are um so i just hear the zombies down there and let's try this out guys so i yeah you have kate here not if kate but i spent maybe like an hour here or maybe not an hour maybe like 30 to 40 minutes um uh, just killing drown and oh, i wasn't gonna show you uh yeah so i ended up getting to try this guys i forgot that you guys could see my inventory uh once i click on the chest um so okay i hear the the what's called the zombies turning into the drone um so i just saved kid here probably took me maybe 15 minutes um before i got my first one and then i kept doing it and then probably like 20 minutes later i ended up getting the second one and then i probably spent maybe 10 minutes um just trying to kill more and then i decided to leave because yeah two is enough so i kind of want to wait here just to show you guys how this works um and at the same time i want to see if i can see an actual drown uh, get picked up by the minecart just so i can show you guys um if there's a way to get outside i would but i don't want to break anything i don't really want to mess with stuff um although i really doubt they'll notice but at the same time i respect that you know what i mean like i don't want anybody going into my stuff so i assume they don't want either um i mean they even mentioned it so i hear a drown just uh, somebody just turned into a drown i don't know if you guys are able to hear those noises um but i just want to see him get picked up all right there we go guys so you guys saw the drown go up um, we got another one over there, so let me just um, stand right here. I'm not sure if they keep going round and round, and then whenever there's a piston that's like this, they get dropped off. I'm not sure how that works, or if they uh, get killed. If nobody's here, they get killed or something. Uh, I don't know how that works, but I'm going to stay in here, and I keep hearing them getting turned into drowns. Um, and then hopefully we get one, because I don't hear them no more. So I imagine they got dispensed somewhere, or they got killed, just so they wouldn't be uh, so many mobs here. So I'm not sure what happened to them, um, but I don't hear them no more, or the carts. Um, so let me just stay here for a little bit, guys, and as we gather some of the mobs, and then I'll show you guys and see if we're able to get another one. Look at all these drowns. Alright, so I just killed a few of them. Something that I noticed about drowns is that they actually drop gold. Uh, which is kind of weird. Because regular zombies drop iron. I I'm not sure why these guys uh, would drop gold. But in a way, maybe it might make sense. Because of like buried, uh, not buried treasure, but like um, treasure, you know, from all the wrecks and the shipwrecks and everything. So in a way, it kind of makes sense. And I, every time I get close, I get pushed back. Um, so I'm not sure how many drowns I have right now. I'm not sure if you guys are able to hear them. If you guys are, I'm sorry. Uh, but all right, let's see. I don't see any with. Oh, I think this guy. I think that's one of them. I think that's uh, what is it? A trident, guys, right here. I was gonna say. I don't think I see anybody with the trident, but I think that's one of them right there. So hopefully, uh, we get one. So there's none in here, and I got looting three, and. Hopefully it took like two shots. So I imagine they get damaged somehow um, We get a trident guys So really? That was really quick. Guess we did it uh, Damn it cuz they're really rare. Oh, no, I did guys look at this No way I guess I picked it up without even noticing Another trident this one's fully healed. It's not even damaged um, You know what guys I think I'm afk here for tonight and then if i ever like just trying to like stack up on tridents and then maybe we can sell them or maybe sell one or two um that's really cool though so i'm probably gonna afk for the rest of the night here try to get as many as i can and yeah so i think that's gonna be it for this episode guys uh don't forget to leave a like and to subscribe for more videos and i guess i'll just catch you guys on the next one panda bear 707 out